Right now, leaders across the state of Illinois are pushing back on a newly passed ban on assault weapons. That includes many sheriff's departments and state's attorney in the Metro East. Five on your side, Travis Cummings is live in East St. Louis with the latest on this, Travis. Yeah, Kelly, some agencies like the St. Clair County Sheriff's Department have only expressed disappointment in this new law, while others say that they will not be on the streets checking for these newly banned assault weapons. Here's what this law consists of. It's going to ban the manufacture, sale, and purchase of assault-style semi-automatic weapons and attachments. Now, those wishing to keep their weapons must register them with the Illinois State Police by January 1st, 2024. Leaders from St. Clair, Green, McCoupin, and Madison counties, just to name a few, have released similar statements opposing the law, saying it infringes on their duties as well as the people they serve. Sheriff Neil Rothling in Monroe County says he won't be enforcing the law for a couple of reasons. One, that guns are not a big problem in his area, a rural one, and there needs to be more focus on the people committing the crimes. I'm not going to sit here and tell people to uh, violate the law. I mean, if you feel like you should register your firearms, register your firearms. If you if you want to abide by the law and, and uh, register them, by all means, register them. But uh, it's not something we're going to proactively go out and look for and enforce at this time until it's litigated in court. Now, you might be wondering, well, what happens if they don't comply with this law? Well, Governor Prinzer says it goes like this. He put it very easy uh, the other day in a press conference. He says state police are responsible for enforcing the law. He says if they can't do the job, they'll be off the job. We're live in the Metro East. Travis Cummings, 5 on your side.